Today on the 5 Minute Expat News Brief, we talk about why Canadians living in China may need to be a bit more cautious. Welcome to the Canadian Expat. Here we discuss a few items that we think are relevant to Canadians living abroad. If you are living outside of Canada, are considering moving abroad, or are on your way back, our goal is to get you bits and bytes of information that will prove to be useful and interesting. In a rare move, Canada has confirmed that it's backing an effort to allow Taiwan to be granted observer status at the World Health Organization because of its early success in containing COVID-19. On the surface, this may not seem very significant, but what this does do is effectively elevate Taiwan a little bit higher in its official international standing, something that China strongly opposes. China considers Taiwan a breakaway province and in the past has viewed any support as meddling in its international affairs. We've seen China retaliate against Canada in the past by imprisoning Canadians living abroad in the country. The Canadian government has called the imprisonment of Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavo arbitrary. China's actions have been considered retaliatory by many governments around the world and are thought of as actions carried out to protest the arrest of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou at Vancouver International Airport in December of 2018. Wangzhou remains under house arrest in her homes in Vancouver as she awaits the extradition process. While we certainly would not consider the situation to be dire by any stretch of the imagination, it would be prudent for Canadians living in China to be vigilant. Thank you for taking the time to watch the episode today. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any new content. If you found the information helpful, hit the like button and check out more episodes on our channel. Stay safe.